A team of Clemson scientists has spent the past decade exploring the unique intricacies of a naturally engineered device that took butterflies and other insects 200 million years to evolve and perfect. Although the insects had quite a head start, the scientists are doing their best to catch up by unveiling a startling array of discoveries that are shaping the way biologists, material scientists, and engineers understand the mechanisms of the proboscis, one of nature's most complex creations. Actually, it's a series of projects that have been ongoing since about 2007 bet between uh, engineers, materials scientists, and biologists, entomologists to try to understand the structure and function of uh, the butterfly proboscis. A, a highly complex uh, device, as it turns out, that um, needs to acquire fluids uh, from a variety of sources, uh, from soil, from uh, flowers in the form of nectar, from plant sap, uh, any form of carbohydrate or uh, amino acids, such as uh, uh, carcasses of dead animals. And so uh, trying to understand the butterfly proboscis and how it functions in those different environments and how it obtains fluids, sometimes very viscous fluids such as um, a, a thick nectar, uh, how it uh, obtains water, uh, how it keeps the proboscis clean so that the proboscis uh, pores and the proboscis uh, are not clogged. Uh, we've come to understand uh, a, a lot of the processes that occur at this uh, micro and nano level. We understand now how the butterfly acquires fluids through a, a, a finely tapered uh, tube. The butterfly has a number of behaviors that can allow it to um, uh, open up some of the physical constraints that uh, the butterfly will encounter in its environment. This device is unique in the sense that it is a fiber, right? At the same time, it is a delivery system for fluid and also it's a sensor, right? So, uh, looking at the way how this fiber is assembled, how the, uh, the animal process the material to make this device uh, is a big challenge, so which can help engineers to design uh, this kind of props, this, uh, this kind of fluidic devices, right, made of fibers which can be spun kilometer long. So you can make a lot of devices just uh, understanding how you know, from a single C-type fiber you can make a sensor or fluidic device. Okay, this is a one uh, single application, but uh, you can think about different applications which can actually take advantage of the flexibility, uh, the uh, durability of this uh, device, and uh, uh, packaging uh, is another thing, so that the calling uh, of the proboscis is a unique feature for animals, right? And if you want to have very uh, long channel at the same time uh, uh, to make it compact, uh, calling this channel in a loop uh, the way how butterfly does, this is a uh, good opportunity to now uh, make these uh, fluidic devices small and functional at the same time.